What's up guys? I am in New York City, downtown. This place is pretty crazy. I'm looking for the Google building. It says that I'm right here, but I gotta find the entrance. I'm not sure how to get inside, and I'm gonna go upstairs and meet my partner manager, YouTube partner manager, and well, a few minutes late because shared van Ryan took a long time, but I made it. Oh, maybe here's an entrance here. I have no idea if we're going the right direction or not. I think it's actually the YouTube office is in a different building than the Google office, and it's in like a marketplace. So hopefully I'm going to the right place. I was wrong. I'm just trying to figure out. I to look for a waterfall and turn left, and then go up to the fifth floor there. Hopefully I'll find it. That looks like a waterfall, so turn left. and we'll see what happens. I found it, YouTube. All right, here we go. So that right there, fifth floor. Well, I found it, and now I'm in my hotel room. Nice little small room. Hello, guys. <laughs> and I uh, got a quick tour, with my, met my partner manager, and took a quick tour of the facility. Um, there's a lot of people shooting, not a lot, but there's some people shooting and uh, working in there, so I didn't vlog just out of courtesy. Well, I didn't want to be you know, a distraction, be like, who's videoing us? You know, so I didn't vlog while I was in there. Um, I'm sorry, but it's a pretty cool space <laughs> in there, uh, and it was fun to just kind of see um, the offices where all those YouTube people work uh, but now I'm actually gonna head out to the night and party not really I'm going to visit do you guys remember it was actually um, uh, I think it was this year maybe last year. I think it was the spring we did a collaboration with XOXO cooks with Adrian and uh, she has a cooking channel which I'm sure will pop up around here in annotation somewhere or, or a card I'm in Manhattan right now and they are in Brooklyn and so I um, I'm gonna take the train. <laughs> now, the reason I pause is because like, I have, um, so it's a long story, but my only other experience of taking the train um, was when I was like 13 or 14 and I got lost in Center City, Philadelphia all by myself. It was late at night. It was a terrible, horrible, one of the worst experiences of my entire life. I'm not even exaggerating. It was awful. I got totally lost. And it's a really long story, but I haven't really done, and I haven't really needed to because of places we've lived, but here, yeah, yeah they're, they're driving's gonna be crazy. So um, this is me kind of stretching myself a little bit. I'm gonna head out and take a train, and hopefully I make it there, and it's a good experience. Let's find out. <laughs> here we go, got my car. I need to go downtown to train letter C. I found it right here. All these memories are coming back, guys. It's kind of scary. It's been a long time since I've hung out in a subway and had a good memory about it. In fact, that's never happened, actually. No, well, it has been a little since a kid, but uh, only when my parents were like with me when I was like five or six. Doing it. so bad I made it well kind of now I gotta walk for a little while and uh, I gotta go I don't know maybe about a little over a half a mile that's for me and I gotta get down there and I'm gonna meet him at that restaurant Washington Avenue and hang out for the evening I guess so I just had to have a talk with Dana the kids are not behaving better than last time they're still just being disobedient being disrespectful bickering fussing at each other and uh, I talked to the kids. I guess I got off the phone and it was only like a couple minutes later, Dan is texting me saying, telling me that Hannah's fussing about picking up plates and uh, Zeke is, was hitting Hallie's hand and then lied to her about it. So like, what do you guys do? Like, we don't know what else to do. I told them I get home, they're gonna discipline them and they had to spend a lot of time in the room. We probably wouldn't do dessert for like a week, which we usually don't anyway, but just saying that to them is like, ah. Oh. So what do you guys, I don't know, any parenting advice would be helpful because Dan and I don't really know what else to do right now. The flip happened when we were at family reunion last week. Like we were in our normal group. I mean, I was at VidCon, but they were fine while I was at VidCon. And then I got, we got back, went to our family reunion. They had a great time hanging out with cousins and everything for a week. And then it's ever since then, things have just been crazy. They were sick for a little bit. I don't know if that, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I made it! I found them! Hello! Hello! This is XOXO Cooks. You guys remember her from our uh, from our little hangout we did. 
So she brought me and her husband, Christian, brought me to a Mex or Mexican restaurant, <laughs> an Italian restaurant. <laughs> and most of the stuff on the menu, I didn't even know how to order, so they helped me out a little bit. But this does look like a legit, really good meal. So what is this called again? Tagliatelle. What up? Tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Kind of noodles? Yeah, that's the noodles. Okay. That's the shape of the noodles. They have a cooking show, so they would, they would know. Like they order just like elegantly, like blah blah blah. blah, blah. I don't even know. And I was like, okay. So what's that called? Uh, this is the cavatelli, ricotta cavatelli. Yeah. See, another big word. Malfatta. Malfatta, which is apparently like a fancy gnocchi. There's Swiss chard inside. Oh. Ah, it's cool. not what I thought it would be. Looks interesting. <laughs> So tell them about your channel real quick. So my channel's XOXO Cooks, and we do a weekly recipe. Uh, yeah, it's easy recipes with simple ingredients that make you feel really great every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. Ooh, sounds like it should be like on TLC or something. <laughs> and you're in it too sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a guest star. Yeah. <laughs> so and they're pretty funny too. Like you got a quirky sense of humor in them. Um, you know, it's kind of like. I don't know, just the editing makes them kind of fun. So even if you're not really into cooking, like you'll still probably want to check it out because they're just fun. We subscribe, and they're fun. So both of them are, you should go check them out. We're jaywalking. Oh no, we're not. It switched <laughs> right in time. <laughs> I was wondering, can you guys get a ticket for jaywalking here? Maybe, yeah. they the tend not to. The yeah. cop is? Yeah, if the cop's a jerk, you can. You can? Okay. So what do you guys like best about living here in New York? The food's really good. Lots of fun people, lots of fun stuff going on. Yeah, it's like a nice place to live with access to Manhattan, but not as intense as Manhattan. Yeah, we're Good in Brooklyn. Bike lanes. Right? Yeah, we're yeah. in Brooklyn. Yeah, cool. bike everywhere. So, would you say this is a good place to raise a family, or is this more of a good place like for like couples and stuff who want to just kind of? Depends. depends. I think it's changing, and there are many more little kids around here. True. Uh, there are a lot of families in this neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the you can, younger, the Your kids then younger. have access to arts and culture in a different way. And yeah, yeah. You can't play outside in the park in the same way, but we still have a lot of parks and yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's just different. And you play a lot of people around to play with and get to know because there's yeah. like, everyone's pretty you're close so close together. by, you, there's a lot of kids yeah. everywhere. Cool. Well, I'm gonna let these guys go. I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna do the train ride by myself at night at dark. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Good luck, Tim. They're still laughing at me. I actually didn't tell them the full story. I think I told you guys more than I told them, but, um, I'll be fine. I'm 35 years old now. I'm a grown adult. I can do this. <laughs> Time to head back to the hotel room. Down back in the uh, subway. And I just gotta wait for it to come. And I, I think it's coming from that direction, but I'm not sure exactly. Just a moment of truth, guys. Facing my fears. It's gonna be brave. I'm gonna be a big boy. <laughs> It'll be fine. Like, it's totally not intense. But when, you're, when I was 14 and I got totally lost down like in the subway, when I was a kid, that was just terrible. Um, I ended up in the wrong station, in a wrong bad part of Philly. I was totally lost, there were scary people. I felt like someone was gonna kill me. It was bad, but um, none of that is gonna be the case here. <laughs> I made it back and I'm still alive. I didn't even die. <laughs> okay. And now, guess who I'm hanging out with? Hi, Hi. beautiful wife. How are you? I'm exhausted, tired. Really? Ready for sleep. <laughs> what you doing? Wrapping birthday presents. Oh, yeah. Hannah's birthday's coming up soon. So, are you going to tell them what you got her? Or... No. No? You're no. just going to... She's got three of them. So, oh, yeah. you'll have to watch the vlog, her birthday vlog, to see if she got the birthday present that she really, really oh, wanted. Oh, that's right. You never told... She never told you guys what... She... When she when you went to shopping at Target with them, you never told them what you were actually looking for. No. Nope. Mm, she's sneaky. Oh. No. So how are the kids today? Hey, it was a rough day. It was a really rough day. So. What was going on? A lot on? of discipline issues to deal with. Like what were they doing? What was? Um, fighting, hurting each other. Fussing, whining, disobeying, all of the above. I felt like it was probably the worst disciplinary day that we've had. I think as soon as we maybe like just start doing school again regularly, like every morning if we used to our normal routine of waking up, cleaning the living room, getting dressed, eating breakfast, doing school, and then doing some school on their own while 
And I don't know. I don't know if that would help, but yeah. like that's kind of no, the only I think thing that I have. Would be the best for everybody is just to get back on a normal routine and and have some predictability in our life. Yeah. So, I I, that's the only thing I could think of left to try. I've been out of a routine before, but I guess we're out of it kind of bad now. And they're also a little bit older now that they probably it probably affects them more now. I guess. Yeah. Well, and kids thrive. Well, I thrive off of routine too, but kids especially thrive off of routine. So when I was. Um, substitute teaching if I had a teacher's aide that was always in the classroom I let the teacher's aide teach the class for the day because the teacher's aide knew um, what they were used to and it was better for the students to be able to stay on on task and not to mess up with their whole entire day yeah all right love you love you too thanks for calling Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk with her a little bit more but you guys say goodbye to Dana (laughs) Bye. <laughs> we'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. All right, you guys ready to watch some Incredibles? You get your yeah, ice, cream. Yeah, ice cream. Yeah, and we're going to watch it because it's a great movie about being a family team, and then we're going to talk about it afterwards. Uh, Dad,